my name is Dr. Christian Yeast, and I am one of the dentists at the Ballantine Center for Dentistry in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm also one of the founders of Charlotte Dental Implant Solutions, a one-stop, all under one roof, full dental implant practice where we offer multiple solutions using dental implants. In fact, we've placed over 1,600 dental implants in our facility. There are so many different types of dental implants on the market right now, and they can all be used in lots of different ways to help solve the problems caused by missing, broken, cracked, or loose teeth. If you are one of those people suffering from any of those, you probably have wondered about dental implants and if they would work for you. And one of the first things that people think about is, how much does an implant cost? And will any of my benefits cover this procedure? One of the most common things dentists get asked about is, how much does a dental implant cost? This can be a little frustrating for a dentist because that's like going to a car dealer and asking, how much does a car cost? We all know there are lots of different types of cars available, each with different features and price points. As you probably know, they're priced that way because of what they were designed to do, their features, sizes, etc. The first thing that car salesman is going to ask you is, well, that depends on what type of car you're looking for, right? Maybe you're just looking for a way to get from point A to point B, and all you need is an economy car with limited features, but gets amazing gas mileage. Or maybe you're looking for the highest quality, most well-made sports car on the market with all the bells and whistles. Or maybe you want a big truck with miserable gas mileage, but tons of features that can tow massive trailer or camper or boat. No matter what type of car you're wanting, they always going to vary on the cost. Well, believe it or not, dental implants are very similar. Not only are they priced by what application they'll be used for, but the cost can also vary based on the brand, the size, how many are needed, warranties available, and yes, even the skill level or type of clinician or dentist who will be placing the implants. Another factor that varies and becomes part of the final fee is what type of restoration or appliance is being used to create the tooth on the dental implant. There are numerous materials out there that are being used, including PMMA, zirconium, porcelain, titanium, nanoceramic, and the list goes on and on. Generally speaking though, dental implant procedures can range anywhere between $2,000 and $50,000. You might be thinking, that's expensive. And yes, it can be. However, it really comes down to a matter of perspective. Let me explain. A recent patient of mine looked at it like this. He said the two words he found most unpleasant when talking about money are expensive and cheap. Expensive means this particular thing I want is out of reach. No hope for getting it. Cheap means, well, cheap usually. Cheap often refers to something not very well made or secondhand or something with very little value. He told me his favorite word was affordable. Affordable means that even though it might cost more than something cheap, it's possible to have. Affordable provides hope and creates value. One of the things we focus on in our practice is helping make dentistry affordable for more people. If you think about it, it really wasn't that long ago, most people couldn't afford to spend $500 or more on a cell phone. Now though, just think about all the people you see walking around with smartphones that easily cost between $500 and $1,000, kids included. I even know some families that have four kids and everyone, mom, dad, and all four kids have these expensive smartphones. Why is that? I believe there are two reasons. First, these people have decided that the benefit of having access to immediate communication is worth the expense these smartphones provide. The same thing goes for what might seem like costly dental work. For many, the benefits of a dramatically improved quality of life, the confidence to smile again, and the ability to eat anything and everything without having to worry about how teeth will respond provides a great deal of peace of mind, thus making the investment more worth it. Second, the wireless companies have made these phones affordable by paying over time. It becomes an option that some would otherwise find out of reach. Cars, household appliances, furniture, jewelry, and all other sorts of things we use on a daily basis can be financed now over time, whereas only a few years ago, this was much less common. 
Now, not everyone wants to finance their dentistry, and that's okay. Some people simply prefer to stay out of debt and choose to only pay for things with cash, so to speak. There's absolutely no problem with that, but just remember, there is a cost to procrastinating critical dental work, sadly, often a very high cost. As dental work gets put off, the problems only get worse, and then the patient finally does realize and decide to correct the problem, it's quite often considerably more expensive to fix the problem compared to what it would have cost had the problem been addressed right up front. Also, the longer you put off correcting problems, the worse things get, the more your dental options disappear. Now, because of all these factors, and without the proper context for your situation, it's next to impossible for us to talk pricing for implants without having a conversation with you. This conversation also allows us to work together to find a way to fit the dentistry you need into your budget. All that being said, another common question we get is about paying for implants specifically with insurance like Medicaid and Medicare. Well, that can be a little confusing as well. When it comes to dental insurance, it really just depends on the type of policy you hold and what the limitations are. Fortunately for you, we have a full-time insurance guru on staff that works all day long finding ways to maximize people's dental insurance policies. When it comes to Medicaid and Medicare, unfortunately, these government-sponsored programs do not set aside funds for dental implants. So even if a dentist does accept Medicaid, the Medicaid program does not provide benefits for dental implants. Hopefully, one day soon, our government's healthcare system will realize how beneficial dental implants can be at helping people live longer, happier, and more productive lives. So to wrap it up, dental implants are not cheap, but that doesn't mean they're expensive either. In almost every situation though, dental implants are valuable. They change people's lives for the better. Better chewing, better health, increased confidence that comes with a more attractive smile. To find out even more about dental implants and all the other options you have in this rapidly changing world of dentistry, download a free copy of our book, Open Your Mouth, How to Have the Right Conversations with Your Dentist. Or come in and see us and receive a free signed hard copy. If you or someone you know or love is suffering from missing loose, broken, or decayed teeth, don't wait to find out more. Mm -hmm.